All right, welcome back to the channel, guys, and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. We are here in Tucumcari, New Mexico, if that's how you say that. Um, and we are actually going to be taking some mulch. It is Scott's Eucalyptus Mulch, 37,485 pounds, over to the Home Depot in Lubbock. So they're a little low on supply, and we need to, well, resupply them. Uh, today it's a little bit difficult to see here still at seven o'clock in the morning we haven't been loaded up yet they're supposed to be doing that but we have Dom's 379 and we have it with the cash money it's green with a gold trim and actually there's uh, gold on the frame too as you can kind of see I'll pull out here a little bit farther yeah it's gold on the frame as well we'll get to see once the uh, sun comes up a little bit more, probably right after they load us up. We've got the Mercury Sleeper on it. And we also have the Dopker flatbed. That's by Retro Development. It is free. Dom's is not free. It is payware. But it is one heck of a truck. Tons of options. Let's go ahead and get loaded up. And then I'll let you see what it looks like when the sun's hitting it. Okay, that was hilarious because I thought the sun was going to come out. Apparently, it only took them a half an hour to load, and now it's foggy. It's even harder to see. Sorry about that. Um, let's see if we can get some sun on the drive out there, but let's get her started. We've got Slav Jerry's N14 in there. Let's hit the lights. We're running a 13 speed today. Second stick is the splitter. Same kind of stuff we've done in the past. Let's go ahead. We are, how heavy are we? 37,000 pounds? Oh, we can still get started in second gear. A little bit. So yeah, headed over to Lubbock, Texas. Got the load on there. And it is foggy today. It's going to be one of those drives. Alright, we're making a left out of here. Good visibility with the mirrors. Turn left. In terms of what we can see in the back. It does tend to block a lot of the vision, but normally you can kind of look around and there's only so much you can do with these head trackers sometimes. Make sure we clear that fence. We are off. So I thought I'd do everything in green on the inside since we're dealing with the cash money skin on the outside. I think I'm going into the gear a little bit too early, that's why a little bit of grinding. But yeah, it's been a while since I've driven in the fog. It'd be nice to see some sun come out and wipe this all out and we can actually see what the outside of the truck looks like. Turn left. Turn left. I don't think there's a chance that we're going to be able to see anything coming that way. Well, it looks kind of clear. I have no idea what's coming that way, though. Yeah, there we go. Just needed to wait a little bit longer to put it down Turn in the gear. Right. Get rid of that gear grinding. Go 
straight. All right, so we're just gonna chill at the light here. Um, in the meantime, I will. Uh, I wanted to say thank you guys for tuning in and watching the last video when I finally got that Spicer 5.3 going. A couple people did reach out and ask to see what sort of files I have and what I did with the coding. I am going to be pr probably putting that up. Either it's either going to be a video or I'm just going to go ahead and put the files up. Although I think I might need a little explainer video so it's either coming on the next video or the one after that not exactly sure go straight but I will be getting those materials out to you guys so that you can try to put together your own two stick system in whatever you want to do it spicer using the second one as a splitter like we're doing here today um, whether you want to build a, a two-stick Mac, it's actually going to be one of my next projects for sure. But we are just uh, driving through the fog right now. I can't even tell what's going on with the light. I don't know if it's green or not. Go straight. Very hard to see right now. Well, we can see that mulch there. You can see a little bit better that uh, that paint. Um, obviously, you can't see it carried through to the sleeper because it's a mercury sleeper on there, all chromed out. But I like the extra touch of gold around the green on the truck and the gold on the frame there. Carrying some Scott's mulch. So we tried to keep it more or less on the blacktop today. I've been doing a lot of drives where we've been off-road. This thing is dropped and it's a raked version. So I uh, we're not going to be going off-road today. More of a blacktop beauty. Good to mix it up. Probably shouldn't go too fast through here. Don't know what's coming up around the curve. Not that I, if there was a light, not that I could see if it was green or not, but uh, we are eventually going to be making a left, so cruise over. Let me get her slowed down a little bit. I think you got to put it in a little bit earlier when you're going uphill and floating it. What's the consensus on that? Real truck drivers out there. I've got the timing down on level ground pretty well. So do I have to put it into gear a little bit, a little bit sooner when I'm going up or downhill? going on here. You can barely see that. Little accident, probably no doubt due to this fog. Get the four ways off since we're past it now. We got, uh, I believe about 520 horsepower in this. 
So we got plenty, and like I said, under 38,000 on the trailer behind us. So no problem whatsoever getting up to speed. Almost up to 60 now. We got 15 more we could go if we wanted to. But hey, we haven't even hit 8th yet. There we go. 65. We are flying now. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to clear up, to be honest with you. Looks like L.A. in the 90s. Just a bunch of smoke. <laughs> Had real bad visibility back then. Back before they put a lot more restrictions on what we could do. Everything from emissions to gasoline. Unique blends to get it to clean up. And it did. It's not always crystal clear, but it used to be a lot worse. And obviously huge contribution to that is just the progress that we've made when we are creating vehicles we're making them more efficient just make them so that they don't pollute as much anymore which is a good thing let's go ahead and go for eight low Pretty short drive. What do we have? Uh, two, hour, two hours, 50 minutes left game time. I have a feeling we're going to be slowing down a bit now that we've hit our max. It's usually what happens. That engine break off. Well, this guy seems to be moving along. Looks like he was just going to be driving like 50 miles an hour. Like I was going to be able to go around him or something, but we'll just keep right in line here. See what we can see from the outside, huh? Just see that mulch. Yeah, we can see a little bit better what's going on with that skin now by Frag Doctor. Cash Money skin. It's free on the SES, uh, not on the SES form. I actually found it on Steam, Steam Workshop. You know, I still got that that lift axle down. I probably don't need it with this little weight. Oh, that's why everyone's going slow, because we lost uh, we lost about 15 miles an hour on the speed limit. Yeah, we'll just keep it right here in eight low. Yeah, I love the detail on Dom's 379 here. It's been a while since I've driven it, and uh, right. kind of got sidetracked with a lot of, uh, Turn right. whoa, how you doing? A lot of new vehicles, a lot of new trucks that were coming out, a lot of updates, trailers, just been, just been trying to keep up to date on all that and this is one of those that I've had for a long time I probably got it within the first three months of uh, getting the game and it had an update earlier this year keep left. and I think there's even some more work that's going to be coming out pretty soon I believe he said in the winter he's got some interior detail that he's working on I know that was one of the things that kind of caught my eye I mean it looks pretty pretty clean inside and has tons of options for color and bezels and dash and gauges obviously you can change the color um, of the gauges I've got the orange going pretty good I like I like to stick with orange and red because it's easy to see even better when you have the white background although you can also do a black background um, on the gauges and uh, in addition to that you can even have a whole bunch of different colors as a backlight I find it's a little bit harder to see that way I prefer just having the orange needles and keeping the, the background 
pretty basic, either the black or the white. The white in this case is what I have. But I like that long hood feel, that long hood of the 379. There's just a lot of detail that goes into here. Obviously, you can mess with the uh, seats, you can mess with the shifter, the floor, the CB, your hanging item. You've got antenna on the side. You've got 10 different types of uh, configurations for the mirrors. Obviously, the steering wheel, dash, glove box, a whole bunch of stuff. We're back up to 75. Let's see if we can see if we can hit it. I don't think we're going to be, yeah, hour 30 left. We're not going to be getting off anytime soon, I don't think. Let's go hit 8 high. Yeah, nice big mirrors, good visibility. like it a lot. GPS, it's kind of cool. They didn't put it just where, uh, where the two panes of glass and the windshield meet. They actually put it right in the middle of the cables for the CB, which is really cool. So you don't really lose a whole lot of visibility at all. A little bit there on the speed limit, Max, um, just because we're turning and it's got the physics, but for the most part, it's centered right between uh, where that cord makes a U-shape. So that's pretty cool. Those of you that have Project Next Gen, have you guys upgraded uh, to version 1.09? I was on 1.07. I actually missed the whole 1.0 update because I was dealing with a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, I was back when I was trying to square up some of my uh, some of my profiles with mods. I was having some issues, so I just decided to keep that the same because I knew it didn't have any issue. But uh, now that I got everything squared up and in different profiles, uh, I was able to get 1.09 now, and I like it a lot. I can definitely tell with the road textures, but very subtle differences also in the skyboxes. I didn't, I wasn't having any problems on 1.07, which is probably the, one of the biggest reasons why I didn't change. But it's all updated now. I appreciate the new road textures that are in here, and uh, yeah, that's what we're rolling with today. I don't have any presets. Do I have any presets in here? That's the only preset I have, and I'm about to die. Okay. That must be on another profile. I'll have to change that as we're going at least 10 miles an hour over the speed limit here. Well, we can make up a little bit of time. Don't see any cops around. I wonder how long I've been speeding. I just don't pay attention as much when I'm doing these videos, guys. Because I'm focusing on talking and I just don't don't always notice it even when it lights up bright red at the bottom of the screen you'd think I would but yeah we are just moving along today um, hope you guys are having a good weekend let me know what kind of videos you guys are interested in seeing um, I haven't seen a whole lot of updates and new stuff coming out in a couple weeks so I mean, I'm sitting on a lot of trucks, a lot of trailers, a lot of map mods, and why don't you guys let me know down in the comments below what it is that you want to see, uh, what types of videos, what types of content, and I'll see if I can make that happen. Meanwhile, like I said at the beginning of the video, you guys can be looking out for some documents and maybe even a short explainer video on the old uh, twin stick Piper system. <laughs> Or Piper, what I say. Spicer. <laughs> Exit right ahead. Love the Jake in this thing. I love driving this truck though it's it's one of those things where you're seeing the video but if you haven't driven doms it drive it's just one of those trucks 
that drives nice. It's kind of like the, uh, if you guys are familiar with FLX's 359, it just has a nice feel, like it feels like a truck. You have a little bit less room actually when you're making those turns because of the long hood. And this view definitely accentuates that. And we're coming up. We're only about five minutes out from the Home Depot now. Here in Lubbock. Don't believe I've ever been to this Home Depot. Usually when I come to Lubbock, there's a lot of uh, a lot of other map mods that have places in Lubbock. But Home Depot is getting their supply of mulch in. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Oh, we're not going to an actual... to a store. This is a warehouse. Going to Home Depot corporate here. See if we make, made that clearance around that fence. Yeah, we did. Where are we going? I gotta talk to these guys and figure out where they want this. I'll be right back. Alright, they said they, uh... Just gonna bring a forklift over and unload it little bit by little bit. So we're just gonna leave it right out here on the side. Don't have to do anything crazy. Hope I can get around the other side of the building so I can get out of here. Otherwise, I'll just kind of have to back up real slow right alongside the trailer. But yeah, nice short drive from Tucumcari uh, over to Lubbock. Hope you guys liked the drive. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and consider hitting the notification bell so you can see all of my videos. But welcome to Lubbock. If you haven't already tested it, I definitely recommend getting a hold of Dom's 379. It is a great drive. Tons of options. Just one of those classics that you're going to have around for a while. No matter what new stuff comes out, no matter what other updates come, you can always go back to Dom's and there's so many options on it. I think I've made this thing like 15 or 20 different times in 15 or 20 different ways. It's never the same. Plenty of free skins on Steam. Definitely check it out if you haven't done so already. But that's about that about wraps up this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.